I'm Josh Corral and this is another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Today I'll be standing in for Luke Sierveld who's on location today or on assignment. Not sure what he's up to but I'm standing in for him. So welcome to Acme Scenery Company and the Prop Co-op. We're going to go on a short tour of both facilities. And we'll let you know what resources are available here in Brisbane. I'm going to go into the office. Why don't you come with me? So we'll start our tour of Acme in the office, which is where all jobs start. Um, when you call Acme Scenery Company, someone here will take your call. If it's a rental, they'll help you or transfer you over to the prop co-op. Or if it's a design job, uh, they will refer to our design department, which we're going to enter next. So here's where we do our designing. We still are big fans of catalogs and uh, we like to look at pictures, although we do do a lot of shopping online. Um, this is, we can actually touch and see. And if any of you in the public would like to come and browse our library of samples, you're more than welcome to. Aaron Shores sits here. He's our shop foreman. Right now he's in the shop being a foreman. And we're going to meet Bill Swanson, who is our chief designer. He's been here for over 20 years. And when you call and have a design job, he will take your call and pick your brain for what you want. Shall we go into the shop? Acme Scenery does rentals, but we primarily do custom fabrication. The pieces that we rent are things that we use as part of set building, but they're available to the public. To my left here, there are stage decks, uh, and they'll accommodate any size leg, uh, and you can create a stage that's at six feet, four feet, two feet, or one foot, depending on your knees. Um, one thing about set building, if there are a couple of different levels in a set, it makes it more realistic. Um, we also have a large collection of flats. Um, these create walls. These are all flats that you can rent and paint as long as you don't put any texture on them. You can put whatever color you want in them. Uh, a lot of 4x8s, a lot of 4x10s, 8x10s, 6x10s. So it's sort of like Legos or Tinker Toys. You can tip, mix and match and make your parts, make your dream come true. Over here are uh, jacks, and these are folding jacks that support the walls that the, uh, you're going to put up for your set. And I'm going to show you something. I'm going to pull this out of the way. Everything in Acme is on wheels because we're constantly moving stuff around. But since this is Meet the Gaffer, we like to work with gaffers all the time. As a matter of fact, when we're designing sets, we often uh, collaborate with the director of photography and the gaffer because there are certain lighting parts of the set that we like to discuss and make sure that it's cool with everybody. One piece of scenery that we really like These are called, it's a f material called lumicite, and lumicite is a, sort of a fiberglass version of Japanese rice paper. And these also lock together. There's a system that we have for bolting all the panels together. And this makes your Insta news set. And I'm going to show you, if you can catch this, what it looks like when it's backlit. So, with a little color, you can make your walls whatever color, but it's a nice, diffused, beautiful looking background. And you'll see it on every new show and game show that's on television now. So we have a full inventory of these available. If you call the office, we'll send you a list of all the prices and sizes, and you can play with Legos and make your set. Uh, these are really cool, and the reason why I mentioned gaffers is because you let the gaffer know that you have all these backlit panels that need to be lit, and they'll go wild and give you patterns and colors, and with the new LEDs, with one swipe of a, a knife switch, you can change the color. I think they're called knife switches. Anyway, uh, I mentioned that this is also our fabrication uh, division, and right now, uh, Tom is welding up some stair risers for a set for Dreamforce. Not motion picture, but we'll, 
Our motto is we build anything, and the addition to that is we'll build anything for anybody. So I don't know if that's going to ruin your, uh, your screen. Anyway, this is uh, a union shop. Everybody here is a member of Local 16, gets paid good wages, has a health plan, and a pension, and vacation days, and go Local 16. Over here, this is our wood fabrication shop, and uh, all of our employees, once again, Local 16 carpenters, all highly skilled. And except for Jake, he's on the work furlough program from San Quentin. He's doing really well, and after 10 years, he'll be able to uh, get his card. So part of the ergonomics of Acme is the lumber truck shows up at the back door, materials come in, chopped up, fastened together, and then off into the paint room. Here's our lumber racks, plastic racks, styrofoam racks, Styrofoam, although a toxic material, is actually great for scenery, for lightweight scenery. So we use it and we dispose of it properly and try to recycle it as much as possible. Okay, and we're going to head into the paint room. So the construction happens, boom, 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 rolls into the paint shop. We keep the doors closed because sawdust is not great for good paint finishes. Welcome to the paint room. I'm going to close the door behind you because I have to. This is Jay. He's our master scenic painter. He's been here for longer than I want to admit. Uh, it's probably over 20 years, and he is one of the best in the business. Unfortunately, right now, he's painting flats a solid color, but you'd be surprised the skill it takes to paint the flat a solid color without what we call holidays. Um, some of our better scenic work is shown as a globe. Uh, it's a six-foot globe over there that Jay painted all the land masses. This sign over here is from an episode of Criminal Minds, and if you look closely, you'll see some bullet holes in it. And one regret I have after having this building since 1987 is that I didn't put a stop motion camera in this room because I can't tell you, subway cars have gone through here, boats have gone through here, bathrooms, you name it. Comes in here, gets painted, which is probably the most important part of this, the scenery building process. You don't want stuff looking like a catalog showroom. So aging, distressing is really important for something to look realistic. So ergonomic plan through the back door, into the paint room, painted, wrapped, onto a truck at the loading dock. <laughs>